Here are 101 facts about BMW. If you know all of these, you should seek therapy. Number 1. The most ticketed BMW in America is the i3, with 17% of its owners committing speeding violations. Yes, the i3, out of all the BMWs you could speed in. Number 2. The X6 was the first ever coupe SUV. Number 3. In the 1940s, BMW made pots and pans, the only pots and pans in history with a check engine light. Number 4. The first BMW to have the iconic kidney grills was the 303, which was released in 1933. Number 5. On the new BMW Z4, you can open the roof at 110 miles per hour, which is a lot more than the 30 mile per hour limit that other brands have. Number 6. BMW hasn't made a two door M3 since 2013. Number 7. The M1 was the first supercar and the first M car made by BMW. It was designed by the same guy who designed the DeLorean. Number 8. The BMW M1 was originally supposed to be a collaboration between Lamborghini and BMW, but Lamborghini backed out due to financial issues. Number 9. The E31 8 Series was the second BMW to have pop-up headlights. It was also the last. Number 10. The G23 Series was the first generation to not have a conventional handbrake. Number 11. Before making cars, BMW used to make motorcycles, and before that they made airplanes. Number 12. The 1992 McLaren F1, which is still the fastest naturally aspirated car in the world, had the S70 V12 engine made by BMW, which can also be found on the 850 CSI. Number 13. BMWs haven't had dipsticks since 2006, but don't worry, there's still a way you can check the oil. Just look down. Number 14. The BMW i8, which is a supercar, is slower than the X5M. Number 15. On the i8, you can't open the hood, or at least you're not supposed to. That's why it's a two-person job. Number 16. On the new 5 Series, you can change lanes with your eyes. Number 17. This is the BMW Gina. Or Gina? Anyways, it's a fabric-based, shape-shifting sports car, and it's useless, overcomplicated, arguably stupid, and really, really cool. Number 18. In 1986, some engineers at the BMW Munich factory turned a convertible E30 into a pickup to transport packages on factory grounds, and when the E30 got older, they decided to make another one using a convertible E92, and it's still in use at the factory. Number 19. The XM label Red is the most powerful and the most expensive BMW currently in production. Number 20. BMW built its first electric vehicle in 1972. The 1602 Electro Antrieb had a top speed of 60 miles per hour and a 0 to 30 time of 8 seconds. It could probably give the i8 a run for its money. Number 21. The E92 is the only M3 to have a V8 and the last generation without turbos. Same thing goes for the E60 M5, which was the only M5 with a V10, and the last one without turbos. Number 22. Based on a recent study, the most common issue on all BMWs is oil leaks. Yeah, cause that needed a study. Number 23. You might have heard the term Beamer or Bimmer. Well, there's actually a difference between the two. Beamer is the slang used for BMW motorcycles, while Bimmer refers to BMW cars. Number 24. The E39 5 Series was on Car & Driver's annual 10 best list for 6 years straight. Number 25. The E46 is the best-selling BMW of all time with 3.2 million units sold. Number 26. The first car BMW sold was a rebadged Dixie called the 315. Number 27. BMW's headquarters in Germany was built to resemble a four-cylinder engine, with the museum resembling a cylinder head. Number 28. At 170 miles per hour, BMW was responsible for the fastest motorcycle in the world in 1937. Since then, their motorcycles have broken over 200 speed records and countless speeding limits. Number 29. BMW produced triple turbo and quad turbo diesel engines. Number 31. Surprisingly, BMW's first hydrogen car was a 7 Series. What's even more surprising is how they managed to sell a hundred of them. Number 32. BMW has been using the ultimate driving machine slogan since 1972. Number 33. The 2014 2 Series was the first BMW built with front-wheel drive. 
Number 34. The only body panels that the E30 M3 and the regular E30 shared were the hood, the roof panel, and the sunroof. Number 35. The Soviet Union used to make BMWs. Video on that coming soon. Number 36. BMW was granted the Momentum of Change Award at the UN Climate Conference in Paris. That was two years before they were charged in Dieselgate. Number 37. BMW made an X5 with the same V12 that's in the McLaren F1. Why? For shits and giggles. I'm serious, the engineers were bored, so they decided to find out how much power the X5 chassis can handle. They even wanted to put a Formula 1 V10 engine in it but decided not to, because quote, it wouldn't look stock. Number 38. The BMW Z8 was designed by Henrik Fisker. Yes, the same Fisker who designed the Model S and later failed at his own company. At least he nailed this one. Number 39. BMW struggled to sell the Z8 so much that they promised their buyers 50 years of stockpile parts support. Number 40. This year, BMW issued do not drive notices to owners of 90,000 vehicles due to potentially deadly airbags. Please check your airbags, especially if you drive an E39. Number 41. The BMW Active Hybrid 7 was the first hybrid they made. Yes, their first hybrid and hydrogen cars were the 7 Series. I'm honestly convinced they really didn't want to sell any eco-friendly cars back then, so they decided to make the worst possible examples. Number 42. The BMW logo represents the blue and white checkered flag of Bavaria where BMW began, and not an airplane propeller, which is a common misconception. Number 43. This is the Isetta. It had a 0.3-liter two-stroke engine that made 13 horsepower with a top speed of 55 miles per hour. And if it wasn't for this weird little death trap, BMW would not exist today. Because when they almost went bankrupt, what saved them was building and somehow selling over 160,000 of these. Number 44. The Isetta was the first mass-produced car to have an average fuel consumption of 3 liters per 100 kilometers, which is 78 miles per gallon. Number 45. BMW has changed its logo five times. Number 46. Most BMW drivers are assholes. Yes, that's a fact, and any actual BMW owner would agree. Number 47. The E90 was the only 3 Series to win the Car of the Year award. Number 48. The X5 was their first three-row SUV, but the X7 was the first one you could sit in if you had legs. Number 49. BMW holds the Guinness World Record for the longest drift. They drifted an M5 in circles for eight hours straight at a distance of 232 miles. They hold another world record for the longest tandem drift at a distance of 49 miles. Number 50. The blacked out trim around the windows of a BMW is called shadow line. Number 51. BMW has never produced a V6 engine. They've only made inline six engines because V-shaped engines aren't well balanced. But to be fair, neither are their drivers. Number 52. China is BMW's largest market. Number 53. The most expensive BMW ever sold at auction is the 507 Hardtop Touring. It sold for $4.9 million. Number 54. In 1959, BMW was almost bought out by Mercedes, but the deal didn't go through because they were saved by the investors. Number 55. This fantastic-looking car is the 1970 BMW Garmisch prototype, meaning it never made it into production. But looks aside, what makes this car even more interesting is its disappearance, because right after the car was unveiled to the public, it was mysteriously lost and never found. So 49 years later in 2019, BMW recreated the prototype in all its glory. Number 56. BMW Motorsport was born in 1972, and it's the same age as The Rock. And don't worry, we haven't forgotten about the E38. Here are four facts about the best-looking 7 Series ever made. It was the first BMW to offer built-in television. It was the first European car to offer satellite navigation. It was the last 7 Series to have a manual. And it was the first car available with curtain airbags. Number 61. They bought back their old Munich motorcycle factory to ensure they can provide genuine parts for their classic motorcycles. Number 62. The US spec E34 and E36 are less powerful than their European counterparts. Number 63. BMW offered the E60 M5 with a manual only in the US. Number 64. 
As a test, Mobile One took the 325i and drove it constantly for 1 million miles with routine oil changes to showcase the quality of their product. When they took the engine apart and inspected the parts, everything was in perfect factory spec condition. Number 65. BMW's largest manufacturer is in South Carolina, and it makes 1,500 cars a day. Number 66. BMW tried to charge $18 a month for heated seats, key word being tried because they failed miserably. Number 67. BMW had the arts program, where they would bring in artists to draw on their legendary cars. Number 68. BMW has another program called BMW Classics, where they provide parts for those working on restoring older BMWs. This program supports cars going back to the 1940s. Number 69. For the unveiling of the new X6, BMW made a Vanta Black version, which was as dark as their past. Number 70. BMW new market dealership in New Zealand put an advert saying April Fool's Day special. Be the first person to bring your car in, along with this coupon, ask for Tom and we'll swap your old car for a brand new BMW. So Marsh drove up in her old Nissan expecting to receive a toy car which would make for a pretty fun post. Instead, she left with a brand new BMW 1 Series worth around $50,000. Number 71. The E30 was the first BMW with all-wheel drive, and the X-Drive system was later introduced in 2003. Number 72. The F10 M5 pumped fake exhaust sounds through the speakers. So did the i8. Number 73. In the 90s, BMW made an M8 version of the E31 that was capable of going over 300 km per hour, which is really impressive even by today's standards. But they later scrapped the project because they thought no one would buy it due to the economic recession. Number 74. This is the iX Flow, and it has BMW's e-ink feature that will turn white on hot days and black on cold days. Even though this car itself will not be going into production, it's still a cool and useful concept that we might be able to buy in the near future. Number 75. A color-changing concept that we probably won't be seeing on the road is the iVision D. It's just not practical, but epilepsy risks aside, it's awesome. It looks like it's straight out of a video game. Number 76. As of 2023, BMW is 107 years old. Number 77. BMW introduced the 30-year edition M5 in 2015 to celebrate the M5 lineup. It was more powerful than the regular M5 with more features. It was also very rare since they only made 300 units, and one of them sold for $700,000 at a charity auction. Number 78. BMW was tasked with replacing the old train interiors of the Bay Area Rapid Transit in San Francisco. Number 79. There's a company by the name Bauer which has been making convertible BMWs since the 1930s. They were well known for their great convertible conversions, especially their E30s which were very popular until BMW started making convertible E30s from factory. So Bauer decided to stand out and they made the TC4 based on a four-door E36. Number 80. BMW made another supercar after the M1, which was the Nazca M12. It was a joint venture between BMW and Italdesign, but this time around, BMW was the one who backed out, and they allowed Italdesign to license BMW's grille and badge for three units only. Number 81. In 1973, BMW made its first production turbo car, which was the 2002 Turbo. Number 82. The first hot hatch BMW made was the 2000 Ti Touring, which was based on the 2002 Ti and was produced for two years only. Number 83. Since 2015, BMW has been making the 7 Series with a carbon core to make it more rigid and, most importantly, lighter. Number 84. This is the BMW Z1, and it's as quirky as it gets. It has an all-plastic body with a slanted front end and a cute little butt. But the weirdest thing about this go-kart is its doors, because they don't open, they drop. Number 85. The new 3 Series is the same size as the first generation 7 Series, but heavier. Number 86. BMW made a Batmobile. Well, not really. The E9 CSL and E9 Homage have been dubbed the Batmobile by fans, and they're not wrong. Number 87. The first successful engine they built was the M10 four-cylinder in 1972. Number 88. 
The X7 is the biggest BMW ever made. Number 89. The 7 Series no longer has a long wheelbase version or a V12. Number 90. BMW owns Mini Cooper and Rolls Royce. Number 91. On average, BMWs cost $1,700 in maintenance per year, which is a lot more than Toyota's $441 average. Number 92. The Mark V Supra is basically a rebadged Z4. Number 93. BMW has been accused of lying about horsepower numbers because in their stock form, they produce more power on the dyno than what the company claims. Number 94. This is a goldfish with a CH. It has a single cam 6.7 liter 16 cylinder engine that makes 408 horsepower and 460 pound foot of torque. It's also longer than the normal E32. And those massive holes in the rear fender? Well, those are vents because the radiator had to be relocated to the back. But why did BMW make this? Well, the answer is very simple. They made it because they could. Number 95. The Z3 was built in South Carolina, and it was the first BMW to be produced exclusively outside of Germany. Number 96. In the 1970s, a company by the name Euler used to convert the 7 Series into wagons. Imagine if BMW actually made these. Quick side note, those taillights are from the 2002. Number 97. The first official wagon BMW made was the E30. Number 98. The X6M and the X5M were the first M cars with all-wheel drive. Now, whether you consider those to be M cars or not is up to you. Number 99. We all know that BMW is not the least bit creative when it comes to naming cars, but it can still get a bit confusing, especially in the 1 Series case because its M version is not called the M1, it's called the 1M. It's probably to not undercut the first M1, but still. Number 100. On the V12 models, you can place a coin on the engine and it wouldn't fall, even if you start and rev it. Number 101. They can be as sassy as their competitor. What do you think of Mercedes-Benz? They build wonderful cars, but here we are both making the most out of your BMW and its driving pleasure. And that's it! Let us know if you enjoyed this new series. If so, please comment the brand you want to see next.